Maria Figelli. One of the choirs performing for the Pope next week will be our own Senior School Choir of the Year, Maria Fidelis from North London. Since winning our competition back in April, the choir have been preparing for a special performance at St Mary's College Twickenham, where 3,000 students will be gathering for an open-air event in the presence of the Pope. He will be having a vehicle. It's a really good question because he will be having... To give them a flavour of what the papal visit will be like, Lynn Newell, the assistant head teacher, shows the girls footage from Pope John Paul's visit. It prompts lots of questions. Is there a specific age to, be, to become a Pope? Does he speak English? I know he's a busy man, but like, will he be able to like meet the Pope? What happens if they've already had children? Well, Popes in the Catholic Church don't get married. What if it starts raining? Do they have their automatic ceiling? The next day, the excited choir make a trip to St Mary's College to see where they're going to perform. If you turn around over that way, that is where the big stage is going to be. And here are Maria Fidelis singing I Will Wait, the piece they'll be performing before the Pope in just a few days' time. Let me live my life In your presence, so oh Lord chance to encounter God through Jesus Christ that's you know the greatest gift of all to me as a Christian
for Rowena Granwell, it was the meaning of the Mass that first drew her to Catholicism. A regular worshipper here at Arundel, she plans to join thousands of others in London's Hyde Park. I found that in the Catholic Church, you know, when the priest consecrates the bread and the wine so that they actually become the body and blood of Christ, to me, that is the fullness of the faith. You know, that's, that's the most amazingly powerful thing. And I, I, I don't, you know, I can't imagine being parted from that now. So, yes, it's great. You're hoping to take your faith further, perhaps, than, than most people do. Um, you, you, you want to become a nun. That's a monumental decision, though, isn't it, for the whole of your life? Yes, um, I mean it's terrifically hard to even explain it to oneself to, to describe these feelings. I would say that my faith is the most important thing to me. And you've thought presumably about what it involves giving up, not least I would have thought, oh, yes, yeah. family. Yes. Um, how, how, how can you bear to do that? I think, you know, in terms of being a nun or a priest or a monk or anything, um, you know, you're kind of saying, well actually, my own desires take a back seat. You know, if I'm thinking that I can give these things up for God, then that is a concrete expression of my love for God, that I put him above all else. You know, I have a full-time job, which I'm very happy with. You know, I do feel called to take my relationship with God further. If he wants me in a religious community or pursuing a career and family, then either way, I'll be happy. Oh, you're going to be heading off to, to see the Pope. Oh, it's terrifically exciting because, you know, Catholics my age weren't even alive when the last Pope visited, so it's, it's a tremendous blessing, you know, to actually have the head of the church come to this country to see us. My faith is so strong and so personal, um, but I also would love the chance to share it with all these other Catholics. He is our shepherd. He guides us to Christ, who guides us to God the Father. He's here to see all the Catholics in this country and the non-Catholics, just to try and strengthen everyone in our Christian faith. Let us pray. Father of Providence, look with love on Benedict our Pope, your appointed successor to Peter, on whom you built your church. May he be the visible center and foundation of our unity in faith and love. Grant this through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. There's a motto the Pope has taken as a theme for his visit. It's from the man he admires so much, John Henry Newman. Cor ad cor loquitor, heart speaks unto heart. And that's what many people hope the Pope will encourage while he's here. Heart speaking unto heart across the man-made divisions about the things at the core of the whole Christian faith.
Next week, Songs of Praise and Antiques Roadshow team up for the first time from Beverly Minster in East Yorkshire. Alad will be asking Fiona to help solve the identity of a precious family treasure. He'll visit the oldest state school in the country, introduce guests Blake and join the congregation for some very fine hymns. And you can see that next Sunday at 25 past 5.